Hey guys, and welcome back to Star from Night Plays, Dragon's Crown. This is part 12 of our Let's Play, and, well, we're gonna get right started. So last time we defeated the White Rabbit of Doom, or maybe that might have been time before. We defeated the Kraken and the Wraith last time. Ugh, everything gets mixed up in my head. Completed a couple side quests, and, uh, while y'all were gone, I decided to complete a few side quests of my own. So... Without further ado, we're going to go complete those side quests. I hope I'll get to level 32 because I got some awesome equipment to use for that. No wrong button, wrong button. Select Adventurer's Guild. Welcome. Kill Killer quest. Fish. You completed a quest and received a reward. Hot dang, the Sea God's Envoy. Sea God's Envoy, your copious amount of fish destruction was overshadowed by the sudden appearance of a mysterious fisherman. He apparently went about slaughtering the fish with an amazing spearing display. Ancient myths state that the killer fish committed the sin of gluttony and were duly punished by the Sea God. Whenever the Sea God isn't nearby, they take advantage of the opportunity and eat everything in the water. The mysterious fisherman's identity is unknown, but his shell horn leads people to speculate that he is a form of the Sea God. He is a very manly man, that's for sure. Best of the dead. You completed a quest. 6,000 gold, 2,000 XP. Oh man, it's the Lord of the Undead Swordsman. The unusually large weight rule... White rolls over the other skeletal swordsman. He watches over the Colosseum. When he was alive, he was too big to be a knight but could only release his aggressive impulses by fighting. Even after death, he could not stop, and so he led other skeletons with similar unending drives to join together for a never-ending battle. The hero Roland admires these warriors, and has excitedly requested that he be buried there with it when he dies himself. Well, he wants to be an eternal skeleton champion, that's fine with me. Rite of Passage, the Amazon Hunters. This took forever, by the way. This was an insanely long thing that it took. Well, okay, it took three quest runs, but still. Hot damn. Well, Amazon ladies. Hi. Amazon Hunters. The Amazons of the South are an all-female tribe who fight with great ferocity. In order to protect their independence, they have created an isolated society and constantly battle enemy nations. In this culture, warriors are highly valued, and becoming a warrior requires fierce trial and rituals. Completing the trial of taking 50 orcs heads has earned you the trust of the Amazons and status equal to that of a warrior. Their efforts have slowed the progress of the invading orc army. Well, that's good. This is kind of one of those pictures of we were having this talk, me and my uh, co-worker friend, about how... Sexuality can be viewed as both a picture of both strength and weakness, and one thing whenever it's considered over the top, like when characters are aware of it, it's one thing, and it can be considered really amusing. When they're unaware of it or it's considered normal, it kind of degrades it. But if you also think about it from the Conan sensibilities, like uh, Frank Vanzetta and those kind of pictures, sexuality can also be viewed as a strong thing. It's one of those pictures that actually kind of reminds me of like this symbol of sexuality being like this symbol of strength type thing. Though, you know, could be viewed in any other random sort of way. Anyhow, still didn't gain up to level 32. I am completely crushed. Oh wow, we have three more quests. In front of the ghost and dance. And then, this is the forbidden text one still. You still haven't found that guy, and we need to find him. I haven't killed all the owlbears yet because... So what is this one? The kidnapping of village girls by vampires has still not stopped, and the mayor of the village has asked the vampire hunter to exterminate the vampires. The church who rules over the region has put up a demon-repelling barrier, but it has not had the desired effect. This makes the church look like they are making promises they can't honor. I want you, as a holy knight of the church, to go and kill the vampires off before the vampire hunter can get there. Church cover-up. At Castle of the Dead Catacombs, defeat all vampires within two minutes. Is this like at the start of the fight, I guess? 
And this one is... An aged woman came by with a request regarding her former landlord's castle. He loved parties and these bashes were quite the rage among the citizens. However, when the woman returned to the castle after a long break, the landlord's family had died off from illness and the castle was sealed shut. The castle is now replete with ghosts and the woman believes that these spirits are the deceased landlord and his family. If one were to greet the landlord by spinning and dancing in front of him, they may tell you the truth. The requester would like you to contact the ghost in order to determine what happened to her former landlord. A castle of the dead catacombs turns three times in a clockwise fresh fashion in front of the in front of the ghost and dance. How do you dance? Is there like a dance emote? Well, let's learn skills because we could definitely use them. All right, we are going to. Uh, um, can I do the cover allies one yet? Nope. All right, Tempest Edge is the yes. That is just useful because it makes us more powerful. Uh, rebuke, no. We are going to increase shield tactics because that's just useful. Can't do reflex guard again, so we'll do shield tactics again. Still have three points. I could up sacrifice. Distraction will give me what? Another use of the distraction skill, maybe? Alright, well, we've upped all those, and I think that's good for now. Alright, so we need to go back to the Castle of the Dead, and I need to figure out if there's something special we can do there. Why not? So, turn. Is there like a dance emote? Do I like equip dance? I don't need the ritual Amazon armor anymore. Wait, I can equip the Valkyrie one? I don't think I can equip that. Oh yeah, that is an awesome freaking shield by the way. Is there... The only thing I can think of is there might be... an item used to dance. Because I don't know how to dance otherwise. Alright, what does the request say again? Feed all vampires within two minutes, that's fine. Clockwise in front of the ghosts and dance. Doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything either that I know of. Well, let's see if there's some way I can make myself dance. Maybe if I... Just turn... Turn clockwise in front of the ghost three times. Maybe if I just turn the clockwise thing, they'll automatically be good. Hopefully I don't... Uh, I don't accidentally kill them. Because otherwise I'm going to have to... Not use my uh, party members. In the catacombs, Enemies. stock white bones are strewn about the ground as far as the eye can see. This would be really sucky, but I'm pretty sure I'd get through here fine without them. If I get through here fine without them, I mean, I. Oh god, oh god, 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 god. Oh, I missed some treasure, that's sucky. Oh well. Well, he got hit off the screen, which is good. That makes my life easier. Do not throw about his poison, then? Well, I don't have a uh, sorceress in the group, so... No worrying about, uh... What do you call it? Uh, resurrecting or having her bring these guys back for stuff.
I will say the fact that Roland wants to, uh... Wants to be entombed here is kind of amusing. A strange night. The night is which path will you? I believe it's this way is the way we want to go. I hope this is the way we want to go. The path ahead of you is connected to the ruins of the castle colloquially called the Castle of the Dead. In olden times, whenever a girl disappeared, the locals would say she had been called to the castle. I still find that every time it says the Castle of the Dead thing, they are really amusing. I don't know why. Wow, the dwarf guy's helmet broke. Maybe you need to repair your crap, guys. I repair my stuff constantly. I don't know how you guys freaking function without repairing your stuff. That'll let me dodge. Alright, well I'm gonna pick this up so they don't accidentally do it. Can you learn the truth from the truth from the master of the house? Well okay. That was really easy actually. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I said to feed all the vampires within two minutes. What I'm wondering is if that's two minutes from entering the place, or if that's two minutes of like, you know, from starting the fight with the vampires. Or from the time you first see a vampire, maybe. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can kill the vampires within two minutes. Pretty easily, actually. You saved a village girl. You must protect her. Yes, I know. Thank you. Alright. Maybe we'll get up to level 32 and that'll make me really happy. Like how they all dodge backwards and all like, oh god! You saved a village girl. You must protect her now. That's fine. We'll protect her. I'm good about that stuff. All right, spider time. I will say these spiders are slightly hard to hit. Someone annoyingly so. Yes, death is boring. Must let much less interesting than life, that's for sure. Especially if you're an adventurer and the only thing you have to look forward to is relaxing for the rest of eternity. And what are you supposed to do with that? It's like, oh yeah, relax for the rest of eternity. It's my turn. Voila. It's like, well, okay, let me just relax for the rest of eternity and not do anything close to what I really like doing, which is exploring and saving the world. Can you people not step on the traps? 
Oh, I missed a copper coin. Oh well, that's fine. You're telling me, Mr. Mave, dude. It's freaking super bothersome, all these freaking people. Alright, so this will be the last girl. He leveled up again. Unsurprisingly. Well, let's get through her door so she doesn't get poisoned to death. Save this last girl from the vampire. The vampire smokes and flies away. You saved a village girl. You must She was so her scared, now. guys. I mean, I'd be scared of the vampires too, because they like to, you know, drain your blood and stuff. Anyhow. Let's get in here and finish off all the vampires. Protect the village girl. If she's bitten by the others, she will become a vampire as well. Alright. We got two minutes. Okay. There we go. I need my sword. Okay, and we... Stop getting knocked around, guys. This is silly. Not gonna lie. Wow. This is the worst version of this I've ever had happen. Like, quite literally. It's gonna be close. For the church... I think we did it. The kidnapped girls had been turned. They are now vampires attacking other people. Alrighty. You utter a silent prayer, hoping that you have slain the last All vampire. Alright, turn to town. Ruins. See if we completed two quests at once. Oh, we leveled up finally. Now I can use my new sword. Yeah, it did both of them. Good. What's A? Really, that's A? Uh, not really that great. More money. All the money. Alright. Let's see what we got here. What troubles you, my I already child? got a level 33 Amazon. And everything else I already have. So everybody's being buried. I realized that I could, I guess, you know, uh, resurrect, you know, the people individually, like, you know, and just keep, like, you know, a full party of the highest level available, but I really feel like having a more varied party is probably more conducive to stuff, although he broke his freaking hat. He's so lame, he needs to go get rid of that repaired. Wonder's the way to make people repair stuff. Oh, oh yeah, we want to equip the new sword. Uh, the crushing battle sword, yes. And we'll go ahead and equip the Blessed Short Sword here. And now we're going to sell stuff, repair, and complete quests. May I which one do you want? Repair equipment. Everything. Like? Alrighty. And after this, I guess the next place is gonna be uh I'm not sure what the next place is. 
Either the Mage's Tower or something like that. Any you know, quests? You complete a quest and receive your reward. Church cover up. 5,000 gold, 8,000 XP. Dude. It's like Vampire Hunter D all over again. Except it's like. Is that a male Vampire Hunter D or a female one? So hard to say. Of course, Vampire Hunter D, he was so attractive. You know, you really couldn't tell. Vampire Hunter. The hunter appears before you after you have finished off the last of the vampires. He is clad in black armor and has a comely face. The request he received was to expose the partnership between the local priest and the vampires. The priest had become enamored with the vampires, and instead of trying to purge the world of their evil, he actually created a cursed seal to invite them to the village. The hunter leaves silently before the sun rises. There is nothing more for you to do. The priest will be judged by the villagers accordingly. Alrighty then. Dead Master's Party. Oh well that, that's creepy. The whole mirror and the dancing skeletons thing. Dead Man's Party. The death of the landlord's family was due to an epidemic carried by rats and fleas. On flies it spread like wildfire. It was not uncommon for an entire village to be devastated overnight. The landlord's family died at their final rave. The scholar was held during the height of the outbreak, and in their frenzied terror, the party goers began dancing madly, day and night, some even dying on their feet. Even today, the skeletons dance side by side with humans. Death comes to all, regardless of class or wealth. So true. All right. There's only one more quest for us to take. The hunt for the forbidden text and the mage's tower. A group of stout men in masks and scale mail has made a request. They are most likely the members of a dragon faith group. One of their former comrades had completed some taboo research. After that man had been dealt with, someone absconded with his research documents. These men have a source which told them that the documents are in a hidden office belonging to one of the leaders of the magic religion Mornian. They don't want Mornian misusing the forbidden text, and they've been unable to find the documents. There must be some mechanism hiding everything. Find and disable the mechanism to locate the hidden office holding those documents. Search the bookcase of the official and knock op- Oh yeah, I know what this is. I couldn't open it before. Well, we have four skill points. Let's see what we can learn. We're level 32. We could learn, huh, I could learn another distraction. You know, let's max out distraction. Distraction is now maxed out. Alrighty. I guess that just gives us more distractions, or maybe it improves the power of distraction. Um, anything I can up here? I mean, I could always up my slide attack, I guess, but... Eh, it's not worth it. Class skills are so much better for me. Alright. So I guess we're going to the Mage's Tower, guys. And we're gonna go through that one tw twice. Because I know where the one is. And then we're gonna go through the bottom part of it to... deal with... whatever horrors lurk underneath. Man. Level 27, Mage's Tower. Now there should be some owlbears out here at least, which will be nice. Hopefully the they're still out here. Once greatly admired by a nope. There we go. There's one owlbear. Man, I wish there were more. Oh, I can do that. Strength beyond strength. This will be useful at least for a bit. How bothersome. 
Darn it, didn't use any magic on them. That's okay, which one is this one? This one is... Oh, this is the... Money Burst, which we want. Yeah, Coin Geyser, Coin Geyser! Alright. That's okay, the library one should be easy this time because we're actually allowed to do it. Oh man, let's go up the Mage Tower. I guess that's one thing, one reason why you need to keep training out your guys is because their equipment starts breaking. Which seems kind of like a lame reason to have to freaking... Do away with your guys. But I mean, I guess I really can't do anything about that, right? The followers of Monion seem to be capturing as many the spirit tells you about the terrible experiments going on oh, in this great. tower. Which path will you take? Well, we're gonna go the normal way, because if they're fusing monsters together, that means only one thing. Wonderful monster we usually the like to call a chimera. Your presence in the tower. The piece of paper reads you may check out a maximum of two books from this Filthy Luca. Oh, I can do that. Oh, my. Filthy Luca. Outstanding. Hmm. Well, that's where you have to go in. Hmm. Well, I don't want to have to go through this whole place. It says exactly. Let me take, check out a maximum of two books. I wonder if you're supposed to do that first. Alright, well we're going to... Quit the adventure, because I have plenty of money to return back here. Plus if I just sell these two things, I make all that money back. Alright, well let's think about it. Uh... Huh. So it says you may check out a maximum of two books. Alright, let's let's double check with what's his name here. What oh spells have I not used yet? Haven't you seen Don't. this Oh which one? S O A Oh, we don't know what that one does. Oh, not open sesame. Oh, that one's different. Oh, well, maybe that's the one we need to use. Are there any other with a no by itself? Interesting. Well, we're gonna have to, you know, see what that is. All right. Let's go. Oh yeah. Cause we don't know what this spell does, so it's either gonna do something awesome or not do anything at all. And it's the sideways A, eh? the yellow rune. Not the, uh, other one. Well, we'll get closer to the owlbear this way. A 
And then, you know, we'll wrap up with hopefully beating the actual the boss here. Oh man, another owl there. This one's one to start with. It now embodies all the fears I've been conquered by the real forces which can spark the winds. Oh, I missed that. God dang it. That's okay. Alright, let's get up here. Now that's Coin Geyser. Because this one. We'll also make back enough money so that way we don't have to worry about redoing this again if this fails. Oh Alright, so we go back up the tower. Now we still involve the S room. Move away from him just in case something horrible happens. Ooh, a hey. that's nice. All right, so let's. Hey, spirit lady. Which path? I'm gonna keep going. I like how we didn't free her last time. We were just like, oh, we're gonna let you sit here. Is that okay? The leaders had already concealed themselves, sensing your presence in the tower. Get up. Oh, demons this time. Wait, that's a different one this time. The piece of paper reads, you may check out a maximum of two books from this bookshelf. Shit, that's a different room this time. Uh, check out a maximum of two books from this bookshelf. Is there a specific book we need to pull? Well, let's look. Does it look like there's anything that stands out? It's got to be one of these. I'm gonna have to actually look up how this one's done. Just because this is one of those things, it's kind of like, wait, what? So let's see. Dragon's Crown. Bookshelf. You know, now that I figured that one out, apparently you take off two books and then you attack it. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Maybe. If you're the kind of person that thing that kind of thing makes sense to. Outstanding. Hmm. We didn't do the request though. Oh we did. I may just have our search the bookcase. Oh, okay, apparently we already got it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and you know be nice and that we're not going to go through the whole entire tower because that's silly. 
Especially because we already got that. And did we get anything good? It's more than likely not as good as our sword because our sword's an S-sword. No, our sword isn't an S-sword. But it's not good enough for me to care. Alright, let's resurrect people. We'll claim this quest here as soon as we go, and then we'll go into the Mage's Tower to actually wrap things up. And there and then, it, depending on how much time we have, I guess we can... ...beat the next place. Which will be... What I'm not quite sure. Oh, we got two level 34s. Yep. Especially because the other guy's equipment's breaking. And the rest of you can go to sleep. Forever. May they rest in peace. Alright, let's go in here. Let's grab our new party members. Choose allies. We want the two level 34s and Dorothy. Bye, Sammy. Bye, Hamlet. Alrighty. Let's go see what we have to compete with out here. Actually, first we're going to go to the Adventurer's Guild and complete this next quest. Woohoo! Hunt for the Forbidden Text done! Treasure Art Dragon King. Whoa! Now that's a little silly. Let's really be honest. That is a little silly there. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Gigantic big boob dragon lady that is going to destroy everything. Let's go. Dragon King. The correct way for a dragon worshipper to live his life is to admire the great beast's bodies and train himself to be stronger. But this man wanted more. He wanted to become one. He researched a taboo art used to fuse dragons and humans together. The fusion of human and humans and creatures to create hybrid life forms is wrong on a fundamental level. This work will only create cursed beings, and all of his research materials were burned. Wait, so is this like what happened when he fused with uh, the dragon? Cause that's what happened when he fused with the dragon. He uh, changed genders there. I mean, more power to him, but well, okay then. Well, time to go back to the mage tower and uh. We'll kill a couple more owlbears and see what's left down there. We still need to do this one. And I'm thinking that this one is... well... I wonder... It might actually be at the beginning. The first shallow area. Especially now that I have that new... spell that I was thinking that I didn't have before. Let's check it out. If it's not, we'll try to do the Kraken part, although I'm pretty sure we'll fail at that horribly. But I I'm severely curious. Let's put it that way. The inside yeah, of the yeah, yeah. To a fissure on the coastline. It seems large enough to contain another ocean. Sailors dread passing through this area. There are myriad tales of ships disappearing here. As you can see. All I'm gonna say is being able to just slice up everything in your way is insane. It's like, oh yeah, there's nothing that can get in front of me, otherwise it wants to die. Like my arm just disappears. It's like, by the way, I don't have an arm. My arm is a sword. There's a whirling thing of death and destruction. As it should be. So yeah, this still has the this still has an O in it, right? No, this is soul, right? This one isn't the specialish one. But maybe it is. We haven't tried it yet. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do this one, this one, and this one. Sigil of death. High chance of can we not? Oh, oh. A beautiful voice in the sea. She wondered in which path will you. We're gonna seek out the Kraken, because the guy's gotta be in here then. 
the Kraken lurks in the cave what? and attacks ships that pass so, the area. So, the only thing I can think of is we have to not let the, uh, the Kraken get a hold of the mast. But I'm not really sure how to defeat the Kraken whenever he does, besides attacking him, like, really quickly. Because it doesn't seem like the cannonball is hitting him at all whenever he's got that arm there. Unless maybe you hit the other arm and it makes him let go. It's really hard to say. I'm sure I'll be able to get it done eventually. What I might do is I might, you know, start up a playthrough at some point that actually get it done and then if it works start recording just then and be like, hey guys, look, we finally are going to complete this quest. Isn't it amazing? I like doing that sometimes because it's kind of funny. Although I haven't done it a whole lot. I have had a couple times I've started recording after doing something like that and been like, no, just do it normally, Brad. The stranded ship starts moving. Something is pulling the ship from beneath the water. Oh yeah, you have to normally attack it. No, 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 let go of me. The tentacles grasp hold of the mast. If this continues, the ship will capsize. The tentacles grasp hold of the mast. If this continues, yeah, yeah, I know that. I already killed it. Oh, did we actually make it through this time? Oh, I think we made it through. Oh my god. Serves you right, freaking. The wounded Kraken flees deep into the cave. Now is your chance. I got it. Simple. All right, well, where is the serpent? Do I get another special area I get to be in that's different? You inch closer to the really? Huh. It must be somewhere else in the cave, and I'm not sure where it is. Well, he's dying really fast this time. Holy hell. Like, insanely fast. It's insane how fast he's... He's, he's gonna die before he even has a chance to do anything. Like... Holy hell, we're gonna kill him fast. Alright, so I have no idea where the freaking, uh... Serpent is. That had been terrorizing the sea. We've got three A treasures, Many so I'm not gonna, you know, consider that bad because it's actually really on awesome. But it's kind of like, what the heck, man?
Level 33A. Oh. Oh, uh. Eh, that's probably not that great. That might be good. That is definitely probably good. So we're gonna obtain you. We'll obtain you. I think we're gonna sell everything else though. Unfortunately, I can't use any of that. So yeah, I didn't see him there. I wonder where the serpent thing is then. I'm kind of curious. Because... It's one of those things where it's like, huh. You know what's one thing I haven't tried? You know, let's not search for this. Let's actually just think about this. The one shallow area I have not tried yet is on the freaking other side of the dam cracking. I'm going to bet he's over there. So let's, you know what? Our time's almost up, so let, let's finish up with the Kraken then, and see the Sea Serpent. You know why? Because I feel like it. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this by myself, because that way we're guaranteed to not accidentally kill the freaking Kraken. And we can just dodge around a lot and not get killed. I think we'll be mostly safe by ourselves. The inside of the cave connects to a fissure on the coast. It seems large enough to contain another ocean. Sailors dread passing through this area. There are myriad tales of ships disappearing here. What? See if my hypothesis is right. Otherwise, I'm definitely gonna have to click on this link and see where the heck it takes me to figure out what the actual truth of the situation is. So I've seen all the shallows in the rest of the area, so it, it has to be somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following you, fairy. I'm following you. Just trying to make sure I have some health before I go on this insane adventure of insanity. Yeah, I can probably survive to get to the Kraken by myself. The issue I want to make sure is I want to make sure that I can actually, you know, survive the Kraken encounter by myself until he breaks the thing, because there's that area after him. A beautiful voice. She won Hey, mermaid lady, wind. we're gonna go fight the Kraken by ourselves, because we're insane. If I fight the Kraken, I mean we're gonna go towards the it and not lurks in the cave and do anything useful. That pass through the area. What? You throw caution to the wind and fling your party headlong into a confrontation against the Kraken. This is funny because there's definitely should be monsters around here somewhere, and there we go. I'm actually pretty good about handling the monsters by myself, though I think it definitely has to be scaling based on number. Because that can't be the normal yes. amount at all. Or the amount you have when you have four people in your party. God dang you, let me up! You all just die. 
don't know what the heck you were attacking. The wall, maybe? That Tempest Edge, though, is amazing for group fights like that, especially when you just want to freaking wail on enemies. Alright, let's do it. Cracking time. The stranded ship starts moving. Something is pulling the ship from beneath the water. The tentacles grasp hold of the mast. If this continues, the ship will fall silence. Give me the sword. I wonder if I just stay in the middle if I can mainly avoid... Most of the damage. No, I can't. If this continues, the ship will capsize. Yeah, this is this is probably gonna capsize. Let's just guard at this point because it's definitely The tentacles grasp hold of the mast. If this continues, the ship will capsize. If I somehow stave this off, I'm going to be ecstatic. The tentacles grasp hold of the mast. If this continues, the ship I already friggin' damaged it. I don't know how many more times I have to do that though, because if it gets it again, I'm done. No, apparently we got through it. Ha, huh, I could solo that. Ha! That's pretty insane that I soloed that, I'm gonna be really honest. The wounded Kraken flees deep into the cave. Now is your chance. It's my turn. Oh yeah. I don't know how I solo Oh, I got an S treasure too. Freaking hell. Well, this is not gonna be nearly enough food to stave off being killed. I'm gonna have to be really careful. Alright. The Kraken has wrapped its tentacles around stalactites and is trying to destroy the cave. Oh, I lost my sword again. I hate how you can lose your sword. And you can lose your shield too. It's so annoying. Oh man, I can dodge over that really well. That's pretty impressive. Whatever the hell it is you want, Kraken. We're just gonna sit here and play for a bit. Hi. How you doing? Oh, I got killed once. That's okay. Plus, I don't get killed too much more. I like how they come to fight me too, even though the Kraken's like going to destroy this place and probably bring it down over their heads too. They're just like, yeah, that's fine. That's cool, dude, it's cool. We'll probably die, but that's fine. I wonder if I could take the Kraken by myself. I probably could, actually. That's kind of the scary part. Holy hell. Alright, he has one more thing to bring down, then it's done. I want to see what's beyond this point. Do it, buddy. You almost break down the whole cave. Let's do it. Let's see it. Come on. And 
don't get hit by that. That'd be dumb. All right. See you do it. Do it, Mr. Kraken. I'm waiting. I'm ready. I'm waiting. I'm ready for you. Do it. Oh no! Like how it just like gets evil and swims off. It's like, oh, I'm evil. I swim off. The stalactites have collapsed, and the great wave that results expels you and your party from the cave. You were quite fortunate to have escaped drowning, but the Kraken still lives. You spot a rare fish in the shallow water. That was it. Hope that wasn't it. Well, okay. Found an S treasure, so that's good at least. Maybe it's something else, like an S sword that's like level 35 that I won't be able to use forever. It is an amulet. That is a very powerful amulet, looks like. Uh, yeah, that's a really nice amulet. We are going to take that and sell the rest. All right, we're going to equip that. We're going to equip the other. We're going to see what this living fossil thing was, and then we're going to go from there. Well, that's nice. I think this is probably better overall. Plus, it gives me a lot more defense. That becomes that one. Alrighty. You know what? Let's let's go from the end back. So let's see what we got for that quest. I'm excited. Back again, Living hey. fossil. Dude. That's pretty awesome. The mythical sea serpent. While what you discover was still a baby, the sea serpent looks exactly like the wall paintings. If the stories and ancient texts are true, the serpent lane should grow even larger than a red dragon. This living fossil is an ancient amphibian who shares a common ancestor with the dragons who ruled the world in ancient times. Thus their strength and power are notable, though the texts say that their intelligence was beastly. Well alright then. It's pretty awesome. Well, we have this one last quest to do. Any skills to learn? We have three skill points. Let's see, do we have Vitality? Vitality might be able to go up. Yeah, we could up our Vitality by one. Should we? Why the hell not? Alright, let's go sell stuff, repair our equipment. Resurrect some people if we found anyone interesting and uh... Call it. May I help you? What no, we're not selling like? that. Oh yeah, we are selling accessory though. We don't want the covering triangle anymore. What would you like? Alrighty. You've definitely gotten more powerful over the course of this adventure. Anyone who's good. How can I help you? No, unfortunately not. Uh, darn. May they rest in peace. Well, let's go get our party members and uh, well, next time, guys, we're gonna make store progress because, well, whatever, whatnot. I think I'll try to handle the rest of the owl bears too, just because let's I can go. just farm the beginning of that one of the mages' tower to get them, and we can go from there. So yeah, next time we're going to do the Mage's Tower and we'll probably just rush through the rest of the main quest unless some new side quests open up, which is completely possible. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.